well we have just been to pick up our new stock bull from a breed small breeder rosalie uh he's four years old and he's called archie oh no and we'll see how he gets on i'm going to take him over to the field where the cows are and let him out and what see? see if they accept him yeah Oh. Where are you going? Oh yeah, they're there. I can see them. Frances is the head of the herd, she gets first dibs. Is that how it goes? Yeah, it's other bloody fence, isn't it? It's not a bad uh, Good morning, it's seven o'clock. It's Friday the 16th of July and we are going to be haymaking today. Well, I say we, Dad's going to be mowing, perhaps Uncle Peter as well, and I'm going to be looking after the campsite because that's pretty much uh, taking up a lot of my time at the moment. It's a full campsite, um, but it's a sunny day and uh, we're all going to be very busy. It's uh, a bit late in the month, but the weather's still not brilliant. But it's talking of showers tomorrow, but next week's looking quite good. So I'm going to mow about seven fields today. We have to do a fair bit because the contractor comes with you know, big machines, and you can't expect him to come to do little bits. So we really try and clear all the fields at the farm up in one sweep. How many acres? Oh, about, I suppose, about, I'm guessing for about 35, 40 ish. So uh, that's how it goes. So I'm a full on day today. Mowing. Ready for action. Yeah. Thank you. 
just saw you when he got back down, when he just shot that gate into this field here and the bottom gate down the farm, just in case of cows. Shut that gate? Yeah, yeah. The pond that dried out during May is looking a lot more healthy, as you can see and looking at the views over the hay fields and beyond and here's just a close-up of what the hay looks like or the grass looks like when it's just been mown all the different things in there the different wildflowers and different grasses it's 20 to 1 i've been cleaning bell tents this morning ready for new guests to arrive and I've been given my instructions to bring Dad his lunch up the fields at one o'clock. I said I would, as it'll help him out as he's busy mowing. Um, so I'm just going to make him up some lunch now. Flask of tea and some sarnies and food to keep him going. How's it going? How's it going? Very well. How much more have you got to do? Uh, this piece here, the small little piece, and then those two more rows, so it's going quite well. There's your lunch. Is that alright? Yeah. It's been a really, really lovely year in the hedgerows and in the vergers. Lots of flowers this year, and I've really noticed lots of them purple this year. Corn flowers and various different varieties, which I've been appreciating, particularly as there's been a lack of blue skies and sunshine. Lots of kind of grey weather. And there in the blue is Miss Bambi. So Bambi's been weaned for a week now, um, so I've been keeping out of her way really. Um, and she seems to have weaned quite well, so I'm happy about that. And in the wood store, um, some wrens fledged um, and they were just kind of hopping around on all the wood bags and the logs and things. And I couldn't resist getting some videos of them because they're just so cute. Just look at that one with the fluffy feathers coming out of his head. Um, and yeah, I love baby birds. My cooking and time management skills have not been very good since the campsite opened, which is why I'm getting a pot roast beef on at 10 o'clock in the morning and I hope that today, later, I can have something nutritious to eat and to feed Dad and Nick. The time is four o'clock. I think I put the beef on at about 10 and then really, really slowly simmered it um, throughout the day, turned it over once and now I've just... Um, with my hands as it's cooled down shredded it all apart and I'll show you what it looks like it should feed us for at least a couple of nights now of some nice hearty food for a cold July evening maybe with some peas and some new potatoes that looks great 
So yep, the weather has been cold, we've had the fire going, and that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye!